Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I've been meaning to do this for three months, believe it or not. I've been wanting to make a video and let me set the scene first actually. This morning, I drove to London super early for an interview in central London with Sun God, who are my eyewear sunglasses sponsor and I got asked loads of interesting questions and it kind of reminded me that three months ago I put out a video and said guys comment it below any questions you want to ask anything you want to learn about me whatever comment away and I never made the video because over the summer I was competing I, I've talked about this I didn't upload as much as I promised but now I'm going to be uploading a lot so that reminded me to revisit this and answer some of your questions from three months ago. So it kind of has inspired me that I even made a little sign answering your questions. Maybe to do this as like a bit of a mini series because you guys ask me a lot in the comments and I'd like to answer those questions in videos and shout you guys out at the same time. So that's the plan. So from that video three months ago, I've got a little selection of questions here that I've just listed out, all the cool ones and interesting ones, and I'm gonna answer them right now here at home. So, oh, I actually thought about this video as well. Because it's gonna be a lot of talking, you guys can just watch footage from Whistler. Because I didn't make a Whistler downhill video, but I did film GoPro footage. So, as I'm answering, you can watch downhill riding. Question one, which was Patrick Sheard, he asked, what's your favorite mode of eggs? And that made me laugh because he used the word mode and I like that. And now every time I go to a restaurant for breakfast, I'm gonna ask for certain modes of eggs. And the answer is, and eggs are big in my life. I have eggs every morning, that's my breakfast. So if you ask me what I have for breakfast every day, you now know. If I'm in a restaurant, oh, poached for sure. So Patrick, there's the answer. The mode of eggs I go for is poached. Next question from Sam Rump. At what point did you think you could ride your bike for a living? I actually get asked that all the time because there's kind of people at school, people doing jobs who are really good at riding and they're kind of asking like, at what point can you give that up and make riding into a job, be professional? And it's a really good question and quite an important question to a lot of people. For me, I actually had a place to go to university to do engineering and I did took one year out between my A-levels and university. And most people, if they did that, they'd go traveling, they'd try and go somewhere new. And I just used that year to focus and try and ride every day. Actually, in reality, I didn't ride every day. It's pretty hard to ride every day. And I got better and better because I could channel a lot of time into it. But I mostly used that time to go to contests and events to actually try and rank against other riders. That year was super important for me. And it was at that point which I decided to not go to university and pursue riding, which was a super hard decision. But I'd like to talk about that more in another video because I think that's a subject, I'd actually quite like to share my story a bit more sometime and like, I might be able to inspire some of you guys who are super talented to kind of think about where the next few years are going for you. It doesn't matter what age you are. Next question from Dan Keenan, and this one is pretty serious. So I'm gonna have to like, be really serious when I answer this. How many times do you go to the toilet per day? Every day. I'm quite a regular toilet goer. I like to keep things streamlined. Don't like anything backing up. Don't like traffic. <laughs> Don't like any congestion. So I go, <laughs> I'll be honest, you asked. I go first thing in the morning, 100%, even if I don't need to. And then whenever else suits, potentially three times a day if I'm on the go eating a lot. I snack a lot. I'm not like a three meals a day sort of person, so maximum three times a day, minimum once, average two. Nice one. Dan Keenan, that was a very, very good question. Very serious. I'm pleased I can answer that for you. Next question is from Paul Davies. He asked me, how many bikes have you owned over the years? And I, oh, <laughs> I should have thought about this before answering it. I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna think about this. Okay, I've thought about this. So my first sponsor was Identity Bikes, then Saracen, then Banshee, then Marin. And when I rode for Identity, I probably had five different bikes, which were dirt jump bikes and four cross bikes and a downhill bike. I think there was, I think I had six Identity Bikes. This is from the age of 13, by the way. So we're talking over 10 years. 
so six. Then I rode for Saracen. I probably had, I probably had four dirt jump bikes, one enduro bike, three downhill bikes. So that's eight plus six, fourteen. Then Banshee, I had two jump bikes, one enduro bike, two downhill bikes. Two, one, two, it's five, fourteen, nineteen bikes. And then Marin, the sick one I used to film in my Red Bull video last year. I've had four jump bikes because I did the first prototype and then the three sick blue ones, that's 23 bikes. The aggressive hardtail, the San Quentin, the Wolf Ridge, that's 25 bikes. I've had two attack trails, the Mount Vision I sold to Harry Main. So that's, that's all of them. I think I had, oh, and I had a couple of BMXs. I think I've had nearly 30 bikes since I got sponsored, which is ridiculous. Actually, that's, it's kind of insane, 30 bikes. Kind of like actually quite humbling to realise how lucky I am because most people have one bike in the garage that they're super proud of. So it's kind of gnarly to think that I'm that lucky. Loris Foucart, Foucart, I guess you're maybe from France and I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Ask me what my dream car is, which is a sick question because I'm a massive petrol head. I love cars. Weirdly, I'm not that into motorbikes, but cars I'm a big fan of. Let's get ridiculous with this. Let's think even bigger than Lamborghinis and Ferraris. It actually wouldn't be a road car. I think it'd be a rally car. I think if I could have any car, it'd be a rally car. And some of them are road legal, maybe all of them. So that's not even that stupid answer, but just the thought of being able to go past most cars on the road and then into the woods would be insane. Next question from Al, peace and love. You wanted to know? Do I think the earth is flat? Absolutely, 100% not. <laughs> Bikes peak with the next question. How can fans support you the most? Um, it's actually insane to even have fans. I'm all of your biggest fans for watching my videos. So I'd say keep watching, keep commenting is the main thing. That is supporting me because it gives me purpose each day and even more so moving into winter now I want to upload more videos. But I also recently kind of launched a bit of a merch line. I'll put the link in the description. So if you want to buy stuff with the MJ logo on and supporters tees and stuff like that, you can crack on. If you don't, then please don't click the link because it's not going to bring you any joy. Um, Rob Jones, we're getting towards the end, but they're quite good questions. And the last one I think will be, will lead on to episode two quite nicely. Rob Jones asked, what are the best bike parks I've ridden in the UK? I think other people have asked in the world, and I'll answer that in the next video, but in the UK, and what he means by bike parks is places you can go and ride, because I've ridden some private trails, which has been some of the best riding of my whole life, but the bike parks that you can go and ride, my favourite, are Black Mountain Cycle Centre in South Wales, and Revolution Bike Park in Mid Wales. And the reason I like them the most are they have a lot of jumps, but more importantly, the jumps are super well-built. Two well-built jumps are worth 20 bad jumps. And that brings me to the last thing. So almost everyone else asked me, how do you get sponsored? And I think for you guys, I should do a video. I just had to stand up, my legs were seizing up. I'd like to do a video for you guys, which is kind of, how to get sponsored because it's possible for anyone it doesn't matter what your ability you don't even have to be able to do tricks or jumps you have to be able to represent a brand in the best way that is what being sponsored is it's not doing competitions actually and it's not doing double backflips so if you'd like and let me know in the comments should i make a video which is about how to get sponsored and how i got sponsored and i could kind of tell you my story as well of where how i got to where i am that was answering your questions i'd like i'll hold up the thing again I did that. I answered your questions. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment below, subscribe, and we'll see you again. I'll do it in a different location with more riding footage soon. Peace out. You are legends.